Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust the space between ggplot2 axis labels and the plot area. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples rely on the data that we can create here with lines 3 and 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the upper right of our R studio a new data object appears. We can also have a look at the, at the data and uh, here you can see that the data simply contains two columns, one column with letters and the other column with numeric values. Now if we want to um, plot based on the ggplot2 package, of course we need to install and load the package. So this is what you can do here in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it here in line 7. And now we can apply the following code to plot a basic bar chart based on the ggplot package. So let's run this line of code. And now you can see here at the bottom right that uh, we have just created a basic bar plot. And in this bar plot we have the axis labels of the x-axis from A to E. Now let's assume that we want to increase or decrease the, the space between uh, these axis labels and the plot area. Then we can use the theme function of the ggplot2 package and within the theme function we can specify the vertical adjustment uh, to a negative or to a positive value. So if we use a negative value then these labels are moved downwards. So uh, let's see how this looks in practice. And so as you can see here, now the space between the labels and the plot area was increased. I show you the previous plot. So you see it's moving upwards and now with a new code it's moving downwards. Okay, so something else uh, we could also do here with the theme function is uh, that we could uh, change the horizontal adjustment and uh, in this case we are assigning a positive value of 5 to the horizontal adjustment and if we run this code you can see the labels move to the left. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you are interested to learn more about the adjustment of the space between ggplot2 axis labels and the plot area itself then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial um, on this topic and in this tutorial I'm explaining the functions and the programming code of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of this video so you could check it out there if you want. And if you have liked the video of course I would be very happy if, so, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can notify you whenever I publish new videos. Okay, so that's it for this video. See you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.